What's up, Sushi Squad? We back again for some more trolls. And today we're on the test server once again, talking about the delves. Uh, delves have actually slowly but surely been getting better. Obviously, today is gonna be no different in that I'm going to end up sharing a lot of feedback with the delves, why I feel that they're very underwhelming. But, 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 here's the interesting thing. I've been constantly asking you guys how you get Lunar Souls, and I finally have an answer. It's random. So when you end up going into the Delves, every third floor from the starting floor that you're at, regardless of the number of the floor, it's just every third one after another, you're going to end up getting a Shadow Tower chest or a Shadow Chest or whatever you want to call it. We're just going to call it Shadow Tower chest because that's pretty much what they are. And that's how you're going to end up getting your Titan Souls instead of the shadow towers when the delves end up coming to the live server um but i was wondering like where do you actually get the lunar souls it turns out that sometimes you'll just get lunar souls and despoiled divinity instead of titan souls i don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it as far as i'm concerned it's pretty random i even had uh you know joe ended up going through and killing just it, it, it was just a normal boss nothing different nothing out of the ordinary and he ended up gaining some lunar souls out of it ridiculous oh 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 and before i forget even though i totally did forget and i'm editing this in after if you're new to trove you can use that sign up link down in the description and anything you end up buying out of the cash shop i'll end up making a percentage of it it's a fantastic way that you can support me especially in these times of need with you know quarantine anyways back to the video uh, so the biggest gripes that we have with the delves is that when you're on the higher level difficulty There's not enough of a reward because uh, let me let me explain Trove's difficulty for you just because If you guys are just tuning in Trove doesn't have difficulty It's very black and white about whether or not you're doing enough damage to kill the enemies before they kill you The end that's it There is no complexity to this game Which is one of the reasons why I enjoy it because it's so easily accessible but one of the big faults of the game is just that there is no complexity to the enemies and to their AI, to their design. So there just is no room to end up adding difficulty outside of just higher stat values for the enemies it means that you have to have higher stat values, right? So what they've actually changed and the big issue that we kind of have with the delves, uh, just to give you guys a heads up, is that in the higher difficulty, basically all you can do is get crystal four that's the only reason you would be in the higher difficulties of delves otherwise you're going to want to stick to the lower forms of delves because it's funner and it ends up having more chances of be beating bosses because you can go through it a lot faster thus you'll get more of the resources required to craft the allies you'll have more chance of getting the allies as a drop because every enemy has a chance of actually dropping the allies same with beating the bosses and getting the mounts basically the weakest you can handle in the delves or or not even the weakest you can handle more so like getting it so that it's just at the point where you're just blasting through everything you don't want to go super duper hardcore weak enemies but so long as you're just blazing through it then that's going to end up being more worthwhile for the delves which is very unfortunate because of the fact that it's just so black and white of whether or not you go into the deeper delves or not so i'm going to uh, i don't want all these people to end up joining me so because I want to try and show you guys this as a little bit of an example. They changed it. Um, before this, this is the current patch that's on the test server. Before this patch, no matter what you ended up, no matter what class you were on, uh, the Delves would automatically take your highest power rank character. You couldn't go to a lower Uber portal uh, based on like your character. It didn't make a difference, right? Oh my God, I need to be in DND this game. And so what changes, let's go to Scythe Smells Club. I made this club, by the way, unless Merc did, I forget. I think it was me. Maybe it was Merc. I don't know. <laughs> but um, the way that it works now is whatever character ends up queuing up for the portal. So if you go to a public portal right now and I'm on my ice stage at 10k PR, we're going to end up queuing into a lower Uber portal. So it's going to be a lower difficulty in the delves, which means that we're not going to be as deep. So we don't have uh, as good chances of gaining crystal four. If any chance of gaining crystal four, crystal four, I'm assuming is at a certain depth, but I don't know what that is. 
But the thing is, more importantly, with private portals, uh, whichever class you throw the portal down with is going to be the class that the portal is going to take into account. So I can already swap over to the Vanguard and then ready up and go in the portal. And we should be, this is my first time doing this, we should be in a considerably weaker uh, delve. And obviously because we're in a weaker delve it means that speed farm yeah we're in u7 it means that speed farming characters actually will serve a purpose although i wouldn't recommend neon ninja because you'll just get super duper confused there's nowhere you can look like you just <laughs> that would just be a mess but we're sitting here on the vanguard easy peasy we're one shotting everything so we can actually just be a proper speedy character again which is all it's about isn't it because it's all just about that efficiency now again i would still make the same argument that the delves unfortunately uh, you know, there's not much reason to do them once you end up getting all of the new items out of them. If you even want to bother getting all the new items out of them, because the amount of gear that you get, simply put, is not worth it. Uh, one thing that I think could have resolved that was if Titan Souls and Lunar Souls were infinite, if they weren't still locked to their weekly limit, I think that that could end up making delves have a lot more incentive for players. Even if it's a lot more difficult, the fact that those resources would be, uh, you know, not no longer time gated to me would be a big enough deal where it's like, all right, this kind of sucks, but at least you're getting an infinite resource. Not that I personally need it. I just think as far as the general player base is concerned, it might be better. Uh, the other thing too is because they are limited and it doesn't really matter I think that every chest you open in the delves Maybe not necessarily all of them need to be shadow chests, But I think that every chest uh, should drop like six or seven pieces of gear Like the normal delve chest should be just as good as the shadow tower chest that is currently in uh, The difference being that the current shadow tower chest I think should be buffed the gear that you get out of it should actually be better because then at least it would feel like it's worthwhile you know you complete the dungeon you end up getting like a whole bunch of gear then at least you feel like you've earned something because as of right now you get one piece of gear out of the normal delves chest and that one piece of gear is crap like it can pretty much always end up being legendary or relics or whatever they're they're supposed to have changed it so that it uh gives a higher uh, quality of gear but it hasn't been you know, we're, we're sitting in U11 and we're getting garbage for our gear. Like it just sincerely is very disappointing and very underwhelming when that happens. I'm also noticing I can change my flasks as well. I can be using the uh, quick step, whatever the heck it's, you know, the other emblem, uh, trailblazing, that's it. Jeez, played this game for how long? That means I also don't need Marshall, so I could swap this out for something else if I wanted to. Uh, chrono so that we can have the cool down. Yeah, there we go. That should be good because otherwise we're already just destroying everything in here anyways Doesn't even matter. But look at that. Look at this right then and there compared to All of the other videos that I've been doing where you know We take like half an hour to get through all of the difficulties. So what we're gonna try and do today Obviously, you can see we're only at 90 depth instead of 130. So I know that that makes a big difference. Uh, and obviously, the late game, you're going to have to have a group. But my whole argument about the delves uh, and them kind of being very disappointing is just the simple fact that... Oh, we got to activate Monolith. Uh, is just the fact that the gear that you get out of it is not really worthwhile. Even if you're doing it like end game, it's like you're going for the Crystal 4 gear so that what? You can end up getting the you know like you, it's like there's one of two options for trove's end game right now you're either going for crystal four gear so that you can kill leviathans better or you're going for crystal four gear so that you can do the delves better and it's like what exactly is the point you know like it <laughs> uh also they changed it up i i like this a lot the shadowy monolith uh, always, we barely ever seen this objective, by the way, you just activate this thing and then we have to kill all the enemies that are around it. It's very, very easy to do. Uh, it's always going to be in a two by one pattern. So you can see on the compass in the top, uh, it's always going to end up being every third room from the starting room being the first light blue spot. On top of that, you could plainly see that uh, as soon as we get into the room that has the monolith, it's just completely empty, like this one right here. I'm only pointing that out because some of the other biomes, like especially in the B biome, this thing is yellow. The B biome's yellow. 
it's really hard to end up actually seeing the monolith or i'm just blind honestly that is very likely because because <laughs> i've been playing this game for so long half the time i just let my eyes go out of focus guys like i'm not even kidding <laughs> But this is like so much more tolerable, you know, and it actually is a lot funner too. like because just defeating enemies is funner and, you know, getting it feels like we're actually getting results kind of even though the gear that we're getting out of the dungeon isn't as good. But I mean, it, it's it's worthwhile to end up doing it on the lower difficulty. So it's very nice that they ended up doing this. Obviously, you're, if you want to play on a lower difficulty with a stronger character, you're going to have to be using, um, you know, you're going to have to use private portals. You can't just end up, uh, you know, if you're going to a public portal, you're pretty much stuck on that weak character. But at least it's a possibility now because uh, up to this point, it just wasn't a thing. You couldn't choose the difficulty, which debatably we don't really know what uh you know what power rank you need to be at in order to end up entering which uh uber difficulty of the delves but i mean that's okay you can kind of just gauge it for yourselves uh at the least we know if we're sitting at like uh 10k pr we're going to u7 which is easy for most people that are at least at U10. It should be no problem. Uh, you should also have enough light value to it as well, because that's another big issue with the later portions of Delves, uh, is that light is required. Because you'll notice right now that we haven't actually gotten any of these enemies to generate with a darkness stat. Now, dark stat is a stat that can be exclusive to enemies uh, and basically is an armor uh, stat to the game. Whereas the light stat value that we get on our, our gear and stuff like that uh, is actually armor penetration. So on top of the enemies being super duper strong as soon as you end up getting to uber 11 difficulty because of the amount of darkness stat that they already just have base, uh, there's also a buff that they can randomly generate which will increase that darkness stat and you can get very unlucky and get three different separate buffs all varying in the amount of darkness stat that they end up giving to the enemies that just makes it virtually impossible to end up taking on unless you have like a really really good try hard group and again it brings us to the same point of do you want crystal four that bad i mean in all honesty for somebody like me obviously when this update goes live yeah i'm gonna grind it i'm gonna go for crystal four there's nothing else for me to do i've already got everything in this game but as far as gameplay is concerned i mean in all honesty guys I, I don't really I, I don't really see the grand appeal of the delves like I, I, I want to be clear here guys I love the idea of the delves I don't like the execution I think that given enough tweaks and changes it could end up being something else it could end up being really really good and really really cool and I'm really excited to see the other biomes when it goes live and a lot of these changes that I'm questioning and saying aren't that great uh, could end up all fixing themselves by the time the update ends up going to the live server. Now you'll see it took us close to 40 minutes to get to the shadow vault when I was doing it with Joe and stuff, just because of the fact that the enemies that we were fighting were so strong. Now, obviously the gear that we got out of it was trash. Did we actually get a gold chaos just drop out of these random enemies? That's crazy. Jeez. But I mean, you know, besides that, it doesn't really matter because the fact of the matter is that it was just that much faster. And, and that's kind of the biggest thing. I, I know that I'm repeating myself. I know that I've been very ranty in these videos, guys. But it's like, I, you know, I've been playing this game for such a long time. I'm very passionate about this game and I want it to be better. I want it to end up uh, bringing more people in and being more exciting. So again, you can see no buffs uh, that I think it's called Tenebris or something no buffs to darkness uh, but the thing is that i, I want to clear that up the buffs that you can get on darkness to the enemies there's three different tiers of it so there's ten tenebris let's just call it tenebris because i don't know what the heck it's called but there's tenebris one two and three problem is that the game doesn't randomly generate just one buff towards the enemy uh it's actually going to end up generating whoop we're go supposed to kill monoliths 
it's actually going to generate like it can generate all three separate buffs and that's the big problem with it is that you can get tenebrous one two and three as the buffs on the enemies which is disgusting dude like seriously now uh, another thing too that i've regularly t regularly talked about uh is we could possibly see the vacuum uh mod uh, mod ju module blech, words the vacuum module, which we've been using to pull enemies in, that's a new uh, kind of cave module that you'll be able to end up using in the caves as well, even though there's no real reason to do it in the geode caves, because obviously it just pulls enemies. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that it is going to end up being a new module that we can upgrade, and with it being upgradable, it has me very, very curious just what exactly its maximum power is going to be, because the higher tiers of it I can't really test on the test server, unfortunately, because I, I don't have, you know, the market is just like destroyed. You can't really buy anything. So I can't get any of these items to test them out uh, for you guys until we end up going to the live server. Then I'll be able to max the vacuum out right away, which uh, the vacuum itself uh, apparently will end up giving you buffs as well as pulling enemies from further away, pulling them uh, towards you for longer periods of time as you upgrade it. So. You know, again, a lot of this stuff could end up ironing itself out by the time it ends up going to the live server. And most of all, I'm talking about the higher difficulties. But again, talking about the biggest issues, if you're in highest difficulties, it's just the same as Shadow Towers. It's even harder than the Shadow Towers because of the amount of surviving time that you have to end up doing. And because of it, it's like, you know, a lot of classes become obsolete as soon as you get to those higher difficulties. And that's very discouraging, you know, like say somebody's playing this game and all they've done is invest all of their time in the Shadow Hunter. You know, at least you could end up swapping that gear over to somebody else. But the point is that what if you don't like playing the Revenant? Because as of right now, a lot of you guys keep asking what are the classes that are going to end up working in the Delves? I'll tell you right here, is the top tier Shadow Tower classes like I've mentioned many times before. Dino Tamer is good because your snare is going to uh, you know, not not only do a lot of damage to enemies but you don't have to rely on energy dino tamer's always been kind of a good in the middle character that could always solo ultra shadow towers even if it takes a little bit longer than some other characters uh revenant is probably the only physical damage character that is going to be good in the delves just because the amount of life steal that you have your alt pulling enemies in you're gonna always spam your left click just your basic attack when you're the revenant though because that has life steal on it whereas your other abilities don't uh and then to optimize damage you can tap your number one and have your uh you know spiky chains coming out of your character but revenant is a powerhouse i really want to actually test him out in some of the higher difficulties so we will do that in the next few videos probably because I, I do like testing out all these different damages and stuff but it's disappointing that this is pretty much the only physical character you can use draco you've seen we can use just fine gunslinger obviously is going to be a powerhouse but you gotta focus on survivability as well uh fey trickster can work maybe i mean i don't really see that many people using the fey in general but fey's definitely got enough damage just not that much crowd control shadow hunter nope ice age is gonna be great especially if you have somebody else with you because your right click attack is actually going to slow down the enemy movement and their enemy attack pattern so it can be really really useful when you're with a group because if you're just fighting solo you're gonna be using your left click for all of your damage which means that you're not gonna have that slow proc uh helping with all of the enemies also Knight should probably end up being pretty good. Lots of people underestimate this character, but he's actually got a really powerful uh, class gem ability now that they reworked it like a year or two ago. Pirate Captain might work, but I highly doubt it, honestly speaking. And that's it. Those are the only characters that I can think of that will end up working uh, at the, you know, u10 u11 difficulties because any other characters just don't really have the gumption they don't have the strength to end up keeping up in order to end up actually you know surviving long enough and doing like i mentioned before that black and white difficulty you frankly are not doing enough damage to the enemies to kill them faster than they kill you that's the problem but here we go again, guys. Like, oh my gosh, is this already? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I lost track. Is this already the next shadow uh, cache? The next shadow chest from here? Look at this. Only one buff on these guys. Jeez Louise. We gotta just defeat a bunch of enemies now. 
Easy peasy. The other thing too is, uh, you know, if we're in these lower difficulties, the vacuum becomes even more useful because we can use it uh, to pull all the enemies in and you can still do your main basic attack. That's pretty much the only attack that you can still do while you're using the vacuum. And it, you know, is not really that useful if you're in the higher difficulty because most of your other abilities are gonna be where you're relying on all of your damage. I mean, maybe you could use the vacuum as the gunslinger, pull the enemies in and then just shoot straight down with your ult and timing it all perfectly. That could end up being really good. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep going until we end up getting to the next shadow chest just because I, like I want to show you just how embarrassing this is where it's like we have spent less time uh, getting we'll probably spend less time getting two shadow chests than it does to get one when we're on the higher difficulty and I know I know the argument that most of you guys are making okay I know that you're supposed to have a group in the later portions but my whole argument about it in the first place isn't that Oh, this sucks because I can't solo it. That's not the problem. The problem is that even if you end up having a decent enough group, it's just so slow that the amount of resources you get out of it aren't worth your time. That's what it's about for me because I am very, very open about uh, being efficient when I'm playing games. That's what I like doing when I'm playing games. That's, that's actually why I still like Trove today because Trove is one of the only MMOs out there where movement speed is actually like a stat. And that's what makes it so fun because then you're just being as efficient as possible. And even if you're just getting, you know, the same old gear and stuff like that, like it's not really that rewarding to do the same dungeons over and over again, especially if you're somebody like me where I've already got Crystal 3 gear on all of my classes outside of the weapons, but I've got it on all the important classes, so it doesn't really matter. The whole point is that, you know, I still enjoy just going through dungeons as quickly as possible, just because even what we're doing right now, it's fun for me. Like I like using movement speed characters. So as soon as we come to a crawl, either doing damage or just clearing rooms, suddenly it's just not as appealing to me. And I think that's one of the biggest issues that I have with the delves in general. Uh, is just that it's not fast enough unless we're doing something like this and then it's a lot more fun and it's a lot more worthwhile because we're actually getting titan souls and lunar souls and stuff out of this and despoiled divinity and everything just works so much better when you're in these weaker portals outside of if you want crystal four that's the only reason you would ever want to do the higher difficulty in which case that's my closing argument is it worth it because obviously the only thing that you could get crystal four for is so that you could end up doing the you know doing the delves better uh or or just trying to end up doing um you know doing the uh leviathans better but it's like is that really something where you need to have that precious little bit of gear uh you know not really most players the majority of players i don't think they care i don't think crystal four is going to matter that much you know getting crystal three is hard enough crystal four obviously is going to have a higher light value but is it worth it not really i mean depending on what the drop chance is because the whole point is that you get the drops from the chest so infrequently that it just doesn't really pan out you know and the other thing too is it's like you know, if you're trying to just do for the Shadow Tower items, obviously you just go to a lower portal because that's just going to be more worthwhile. Uh, but you're already defeating Leviathans and stuff anyways. But the biggest argument I have is like I mentioned earlier about certain characters just outright not working. You know, like what if I want a Crystal 4 bow? The only way that you could possibly do that is you would have to have a dedicated group that is, uh, you know, going through the dungeon with you. Uh, on, on top of, uh, you would have to be doing it in a private delve because in the private delves, uh, you would be able to swap your character just before you end up opening the chest. Uh, thus, you could end up, uh, you know, increasing your odds of actually getting the piece of gear that you want. So I would swap to Shadow Hunter before I end up opening the shadow chest in the hopes that I could end up getting the crystal gear. Now, one last thing that I want to mention here, gamers, that is crucial, okay? Even though I have all my complaints about this, there is also challenge delves. Challenge delves are not currently available on the test server and they might they might just 
like be awesome you know they might fix everything that we're complaining about i doubt it but i'm just saying that i'm open to the idea that all of the stuff that we've seen right now might be deliberate because the challenge dells might end up just fixing all of that so anyways let's open this our shadow chest here boop yeah so there we ended up getting some uh, more titan souls and then we ended up getting uh some shadow cash from that as well so it literally just replaces the shadow tower chest unfortunately you see because we're at such a lower tier the amount of gear that we get out of it is just minuscule uh, the items that we get i should say but 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 that's the key word today <laughs> we got to two chests in less time than it took joe and me both pretty powerful dracos like my dracos maxed out his not so much but it took us like 39 minutes for us to duo up to the first shadow chest and even then that was a lot of random you know could we complete this floor could we complete this floor just because the enemy generation and the buffs that they ended up having as opposed to what we just did right now where 20 minutes uh, or 25 minutes and we got to the second chest and if you're trying to be like as efficient as possible, this this could potentially be more efficient than Shadow Towers. Just for getting your Titan Souls and your Lunar Souls and stuff out of the way, which is more what I'm talking about. Because as of right now, you know, on the live server currently, I can get through my Ultra Shadow Towers in about an hour and I can solo the majority of it outside of Hydra uh, if I'm using Draco. It depends which class I'm using. And my argument is that then the Delves, you should be able to get all of your Lunar and Titan souls within an hour as well, because otherwise it's just not as efficient. So I don't know if there's anything, like any specific parameter that uh, gives you Lunar souls. Maybe it's even at a specific floor. I don't know. But the whole thing is that getting Lunar souls is a little bit of a chore because I've had it where... I've gotten the total weekly amount of Titan Souls that I can get out of the Delves chest, and yet uh, I, I spawned another Shadow chest that would have given me more Titan Souls, but it didn't because I was at the weekly cap. And that's kind of a waste of time to me because if you go to that chest and then you just get nothing out of it while you're still missing your Lunar Souls, like I don't, I don't like how random the Delves are is what I'm saying, I guess. You know, there's a little too much RNG going on here that prevents it from being something a little bit more refined, you know, but it could still end up getting fixed. Thanks for watching though, gamers. Uh, I hope that this is probably going to end up being the last time that I rant about this, but honestly, they're patching this like so often on the test server that I just kind of want to keep bringing these, uh, you know, discussions to, uh, to your capable hands so that we can end up talking about this in the comments or, or you maybe bring your discussion to the troll forums or something like that. Ultimately, I'm just trying to bring up questions uh, and challenge the developers to end up making something a little bit better than this because it's cool as is, but is it great? Is it something better than Shadow Towers? I mean, on the easier difficulty, yeah, it probably is. But I mean, maybe that's just me. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about the way that the caves look and everything like that, but I, I like the caves, you know? I, I, I always liked uh, the Geode Caves aesthetically. And I think that when the extra biomes are there for the live server, it'll really vary it up and make things a lot more tolerable instead of being so repeated, you know? But anyways, thanks for watching. What do you guys think? Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel, and otherwise have yourselves a great day. Sign on and stay epic gamers.